In order to work with mobilizing people to tackle problems that have no known answers, no easy answers. That's the work of leadership. When I talk about leadership, I'm talking about something so simple, it's easy to miss. What leadership means is breaking down silos. What it means is having the hard conversations, telling the hard truths. I find that very refreshing and very real and applicable to everyday situation. The mission here at Adaptive Change is to put leadership tools into the hands of anyone who wants to drive consequential change. We call this democratizing leadership. I first got to work with Adaptive Change Advisors at the U.S. Department of Energy. I was just blown away by Eric's ability to break down a barrier and make this really deep personal connection with people. Every individual has these leadership moments that really can catalyze change. Because it is so simple, I'm hopeful we can tackle some of the world's most pressing challenges. I am so proud to say that we now have a framework for how we are training the new generation of leaders. I've seen people exercise leadership everywhere, from the boardroom to the slums of Delhi and Nairobi, in the foothills of the Himalayas, in my own hometown of Detroit. Some of the most disempowered and disenfranchised people on the planet exercising leadership to change their lives. Bring the change that you want to see and stop complaining and get into action. Well, that might be mistaken, but it sounds like you have some passion in your voice. <laughs> the average person faces at least five leadership moments every day. Every day. The question is, would you recognize a leadership moment if it came your way? And would you know what to do when it did? Growing up in Detroit at the height of its decline, it was in the shadows of the abandoned factories, grocery stores, and movie theaters that I saw the quiet dignity of working people in the face of struggle. Having worked with and learned from some of the top minds at places like Harvard, Google, the White House, and the world's most influential organizations, I've seen what's possible with virtually unlimited resources. I've also seen what more is possible with virtually no resources. People discovering their own capacity and courage to lead, regardless of identity, history, or access to power and financial capital. That's the beginning of a movement. A movement to adapt and change our institutions and ourselves. Daddy! To create the more beautiful world our hearts know is possible.